What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, King Cobra, and I'm back at you with another video. And a buddy of mine was in Colorado recently, and he had some malt liquor he was drinking on. And he gave me the rest to try, because I'd never had it before. So I'm gonna move some stuff around here. I'm gonna set the camera down so we can try it. Now, what exactly am I drinking on? This is what I have left in the malt liquor. <laughs> Maybe you'll recognize the label if I show it. Oh, look at that. Yes, sir. I'm about to try some King Cobra malt liquor. Like, legitly, there's the lid. There's part of the label. Like, what are the fucking odds? Okay. I've always wanted to try King Cobra malt liquor. Y'all got a, a malt liquor named after my favorite snake. And then my buddy Joe was like, well, you want the rest of this, you can have it. And I'm like, okay. I would have tried them sooner if they were to carry them here in town, but unfortunately that's not the case, YouTube and Facebook. So here's King Cobra's review of King Cobra malt liquor. That, uh, that pipe out for a second. All right, so if this isn't a whole bottle of it, but it's enough for me to have a taste of it. Hmm. King Cobra malt liquor. Cheers, YouTube and Facebook. Damn! YouTube, I'm not just saying it because it's named after my favorite snake. I'm not just saying it because it's named after my favorite snake. But this is good. Yo. I like King Cobra malt liquor. That's good. Why the fuck do they, do they not sell this shit here in town? Mm. But, uh, yeah, that's good. I could, I could drink this. Mm. <laughs> yeah, Facebook already knows. I want to have this gone in like a couple of seconds, man. It's enough for me to take a couple big swigs and get a full taste of it, you know? Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. 
know, because people have always asked me, YouTube, they're like, well, since you call yourself King Cobra, have you tried King Cobra malt liquor? And up until this point, I honestly haven't tried it until tonight, and... Hmm. And, uh, I'm not a fan of it. Damn it. I could probably get the liquor shed to start carrying these. But that'd be a long-ass ways just to go for a fucking 40. Ugh. So I guess I'll just drink them when I can, because, you know... If you're just tuning in to Facebook Live, I'm sipping on some goddamn malt liquor. But not just any malt liquor, King Cobra malt liquor to be more specific. People are like, have you ever tried it? You, you know what I'm saying? Up until tonight, I have not tried it. And my buddy Joe gave me the rest of his. He's like, here, you want to try this? And I'm like, yeah, sure. I never had King Cobra malt liquor until until tonight. And uh, I gotta say, I love King Cobra malt liquor. I think I just found, I think I just found a new favorite beer. Not just because it's named after my favorite snake, but that it actually tastes good. I like that. I like that a lot. I could mix this with some monster energy drink and be content. Yeah. Ah, mm. uh, well, my birthday is coming up, YouTube, in about two days. This coming Monday on March 26th, I will be 27 years old. Too old to die young, officially. Bleh. You know, I don't like getting older, but... You know, nothing you can do about it. I mean, when you're a kid, you're just like, oh, I can't wait to be 18, blah, 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 blah. Then once you're 18, you're like, oh, shit, I can't wait to be 21. Then once you're 21, it's like, well, fuck. All the fun ages have been, all the fun ages have been reached already. It's pretty much just downhill from your 21st. You know what I'm saying? Once you're 21, it just goes straight downhill from there. And you think, oh, you just turned 21. It doesn't last forever. One day you'll fucking wake up and you're two days away from your 27th birthday. And it's like, fuck. Seriously, YouTube, one day you're going to fucking wake up and you're practically almost 27. And you're thinking, wait a minute, didn't I just turn 21? What, what, what the fuck is this shit? Hmm. But yeah, if you're just joining me on Facebook Live, I'm sipping on a King Cobra malt liquor. Well, Daniel Britt says, that's why you enjoy life. Well, you try to, I guess. If you can't enjoy life as a whole then you find stuff you enjoy doing in life. And for me, that's my guitar playing and, you know, making videos and chit-chatting with my fans. Uh, I seen a cute-ass chick at Loaf and Jug the other day, YouTube. 
I was hanging out with my buddy Scott, and he's like, bro, could you go get, could, could you go get a two liter? And I'm like, yeah, sure. So he hands me the money to go get a two liter, and as I'm walking out the door, his mom, Mildred's like, you going to Loaf and Jug? And I'm like, yeah. She goes, well, can you get a pack of smokes too while you're there? And I'm like, yeah. She hands me a 10, so I go in there. I get my two, my two liter and the cigarettes that I'm supposed to be there to get. And standing in line, I see this cute ass chick with hair color similar to mine. I was, I was kind of checking her out, but then she turned around to look at me. And I'm checking her out too. Like as soon as our eyes met, I'm like, holy shit. In the back of my mind, I'm like, dude, this chick has got some pretty green eyes. Hell fucking yeah. And then she smiles at me real big and everything. And I tried to play it off like I, I, you know, I tried to play it off like I don't give a shit. But I could feel, I could feel myself smiling. And then she turns around and stops for a second as she's walking out the door. And I could just tell she was waiting for something to happen. And sure enough, I'm checking her out. I'm checking her out as she's walking out the door. And my, my mouth does this. And I'm still kicking myself for not saying something witty. I know. Of course, if I saw that chick again, I probably wouldn't say anything. I'd probably just smile like a dumbass. Yeah, I'll talk a big game, but really, I do not have the courage to talk to women very often, unfortunately. Cause I got all these things in the back of my mind, like, oh, you have Asperger's, you're socially awkward, you don't deserve blah, but just a bunch of shit, you know. Hmm. Elliot says, how would you have opened looking back on the situation? Well, looking back on the situation, if I had been prepared for such attractive goddess, if I would have, if I would have been prepared for some smoking hot green-eyed goddess to just fucking randomly be in front of me, if I would have been more prepared, I would have said something like, hey, you like guitar players? Because I'd rock your world. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But... I'm a bigger man than most, because I can admit when I'm defeated. In the back of my mind, I'm like, maybe she was just smiling because she was being polite. You know. I'd like to believe she was smiling at me because she thought I was attractive and she wanted to get with me. But in the back of my mind, I'm like, don't be so quick to assume the positives, you know. Oh, man. This King Cobra malt liquor is almost gone, and I'm just like, oh, Damn it, Casper. Why doesn't any of your liquor stores carry this? This is bullshit. I found a new favorite beer in the closest... The closest place I can get King Cobra malt liquor is in Colorado. Go fucking figure. Uh, well, shit, YouTube. I like King Cobra malt liquor, even if it wasn't a full one. 
I don't care. It's got some bite to it. I like King Cobra malt liquor. This is my new favorite beer. This is legitly this is legitly my new favorite beer. This is tastier than Cobra's Mist in my opinion. Why wasn't I introduced to this deliciousness sooner? Uh Uh, did you know that Cradle of Filth is coming to Denver, Colorado in April? And then Ozzy's coming into play in Denver, Colorado in October. Man, I wish I had the money to go to both. I wish I had the money to go to both of those concerts. Go down to Colorado, buy some weed, buy some King Cobras. Go to the concert and just chug King Cobras and smoke weed and... Watch them all play live and shit. That'd be cool. That's wishful thinking, though, so I'm not gonna, you know. No. Yeah, I'm just hanging out tonight. I thought, well, if I'm gonna do, if I'm gonna be drinking on some King Cobra malt liquor, I gotta, I, I gotta legitly do a review of this, even if it's not a whole one. That's still, it's a beer with my fucking YouTube persona name. On it, my fucking stage name is on the beer. Okay, it's King Cobra Malt Liquor. It's like I've never had it before, and I, I want to do a review for YouTube, and be like, YouTube, if you if you've never, if you're old enough to drink, God damn it, if you're old enough to drink, then buy some King Cobra Malt Liquor. You cannot go wrong with this. This is. Like, compared to all the malt liquors I've tried, this is my favorite one. And I'm not just saying it because my favorite snake is named after it or whatever. I'm being serious. This, this is... Mmm. Mmm. This just makes me say Casper sucks that much more. And the only reason I say that is because none of the liquor stores here in town are going to carry this. It's bullshit. I mean, Casper is not the worst city to live in, but it has its moments where you, you just like, get me the fuck out of this shithole town. It has its fucking moments where you're just like, get me the fuck out of this shithole one horse town. You know. Yeah, you know, I'll talk a lot of shit on Casper, but guess what? It's home, so. Nah. The way that chick smiled at me, like, her smile seemed to warm me up just for a bit. And I didn't know how to react to it. It was like, I was kind of put on the spot, like, Oh, hey, this cute-ass chick with green eyes is checking you out. Totally looks like your type of chick, and all you could do is stand there like a fucking idiot. <laughs> Truth be told, YouTube, I'm not focused on dating right now. I'm trying to work on improving myself, if that makes any sense. I'll be the first to acknowledge it. I have a nasty-ass temper. I'm way too hard on myself. And I'm a cynical asshole. And I'm also, I'm also extremely narcissistic, so... These are traits that most women don't find attractive. So if I can work on my temper 
and work on my confidence and learn and learn to be a little less narcissistic and learn to be a little less harsh on myself that might actually improve my chances uh, in the dating department. <laughs> One bottle empty. Hmm. Now keep in mind, I have not drinking a single drop of alcohol until now. And, um, yeah, for malt liquor, this is pretty strong. It's got some bite to it. I like it. King Cobra Malt Liquor gets the Gothic King Cobra seal of approval. Walking home, I'm like, I know what's going to happen. I'll get home. I'll try it. I'll be like, oh, this is super fucking good. And then I'll be pissed because not a single liquor store here in town carries it. And that's exactly what happened. I get home, I try it, I'm like, yo, this is some good beer. I can rock with this shit. And then, I, and then I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. None of the goddamn liquor stores here in town carry it. You gotta go to fucking Colorado just to get a fucking 40 of this. Fucking some bullshit. Ugh. <sighs> Anyways, this is uh, King Cobra JFS with another malt liquor review or drink review. Reviewing King Cobra malt liquor. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you cool copers later.